Students, we're going to talk about Free Code Camp. It's a website and it teaches you how to code for free. What more do you need to know? How do you get there? www.freecodecamp.org. Just put that up in your browser, it'll take you there. Now, when you first get there, you're probably going to want to create an account. Okay, now you can continue with Google or you can continue with email. Uh, something to think about. Uh, if you want to use your school email, you can give that a try and continue with Google. If you want to use your personal email, you can do that as well. Or if you want to use your personal Google to set up an account at freecodecamp.org, totally fine. Why would you want to set up an account? To save your progress, that's why. Now. I have my account already set up right here and so you can see it has my name right there um, and you'll notice right here it says start at the beginning mm, I'm gonna click on that okay so what is this is gonna do is gonna teach you the basics of HTML and HTML5 okay now you have this window right here here's where you can manipulate your code they have these challenges here that you're gonna do and you're gonna have to do some reading uh-oh you're gonna have to get your hands dirty guys and do some reading over here and basically what this is telling you on the left hand side is that um, they want in order for you to pass the test here this needs to basically say hello world okay so that's a freebie on the first one to get through to the next level or the next lesson you click run all tests now I'm gonna purposely misspell this to see if it'll let me through okay now it says uh oh your h1 element which is a heading element it should have said hello world okay so oh I immediately know I made a mistake so I'm gonna go up here and click and put that back to the end of world I'm going to click run the tests boom it says uh, I completed that I can submit and go to the next challenge so the benefit of creating an account is that you are going to be able to save your progress so I'm gonna to go to the next challenge here and I actually was working on that one and they're gonna teach you how to do subheadings and this is this lesson okay so you kind of have to read all the directions here and you can one little quick tip for you if you look over here it says we need to add a h2 tag which is subheading tag and it needs to say cat photo app well you can spend your time uh, typing on the keyboard that way or if you want it's it's very easy to like grab one of these heading one tags and then just you know I'm just gonna put it right here and I'm gonna highlight that and change it to two and then another thing you could do is if you really want to be quick is you can just highlight that and you can either right click and choose copy or you can do control C which is a shortcut and then you can go over here and either right click actually it won't give me the option to right click and choose paste but I can do control V and paste that in there and if I get the spaces and back it up now don't forget when you have a closing tag you need to have the slash there to close it out okay so I think I'm good here with the second lesson I'm gonna see if it works for me okay so we're all good this is how you get set up with free code camp those were some of the basics for the first couple of little things so please give it a try if you're interested in learning a little bit more about coding and um, HTML and HTML5 good luck guys